Oko, who's with Kosatu President Stumudlamene Vuyo. It's over to you. Thanks very much, uh, Alicia. Uh, you are live uh, from uh, the Nelson Mandela uh, Bay Stadium, and that is where the African National Congress um, is going to launch its election manifesto for local government uh, 2016, the first party uh, to do so. We're looking our, uh, uh, ahead, of course, to uh, three months of a very intense uh, campaigning by all political parties across the spectrum as uh, they all seek uh, to grab their slice of available uh, municipalities across the country. The ANC today, of course, uh, going to launch uh, their own. And uh, right here in the studio, I'm joined by Stumaj Lamini, who is the president of the Congress of South African Trade Unions, an ally of the governing party, the ANC. They are here at uh, the launch at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. So, I mean, thank you very much for joining us and welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Vuyo. Uh, thank you for having us this morning. Well, the day has arrived, and uh, what do you expect uh, the ANC to put, uh, or what would you like the ANC to put in front of uh, the workers of the country today? Indeed, uh, Vuyo, today is a defining uh, moment for the ANC, for the alliance led by the ANC in this uh, launch of the manifesto of the ANC. We did uh, take part in the construction of this manifesto wherein we were ensuring that uh, the critical issues that matter most to the workers were being a part of this. Obviously, I'm not going to be listing them now because they must be unveiled by the president uh, of the ANC but later what on. Matters the most, um, what matters the, 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 the most? What matters the most? to us as the workers is the reality that right now we still have huge inequality in society here in South Africa. Unemployment is still a problem. The uh, situation of poverty is still so rife. But as workers, indeed, uh, there are specific issues like outsourcing that are concerning us. The labor brokers are still a matter of great concern for the workers in South Africa. The demand for a national minimum wage is still a demand uh, two years since we started the negotiations. The taxation law amendment, we are happy that uh, when we stood up and said to the ANC, no, not in our name in this way, they listened and retreated. We've allowed now a period of hard work to develop a taxation law that protects the interest of the workers in this country. We're happy with that. But you cannot achieve that without a comprehensive social security plan for our country. For local government, we are in our communities. We do suffer just like everybody. The uh, scarcity of clean water, electricity that is so expensive. We indeed are looking forward to what the manifesto will say about those issues. So basically, if we were to uh, sort of make a bit of a practical example, when you're talking about labor brokers, you're saying you are asking the ANC to ensure that municipalities do not uh, yes. engage in the practice. We, 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 we're calling for the outsourcing uh, to be reversed and employees be employed on a permanent basis in those areas because uh, they've been there, they've been doing the job, so why don't employ them uh, on a permanent basis? Uh, uh, the latest amendment on the labor brokering issue is a problem because employers are not even uh, uh, implementing that, they are sidestepping the law to employ on a permanent basis those workers who have exceeded three months on the job. So, so, so we are very much keen to see the ANC uh, going forward, ensuring that workers uh, are considered also in this aspect of their lives. When you sat down with the ANC to make your inputs, uh, did you get a sense that you are being listened to and uh, these, uh, I mean, the issues you're putting on the table will indeed be addressed? Look, I would be unveiling the manifesto, uh, but indeed there was our attempt to do so. Others we are able to get in, others they can't get through, which means we'll still have to find uh, space on the ground to campaign for those issues until the ANC listens to us and get them into its program of government. So you got some in, others couldn't get inside. Well, I mean, labor brokers is perhaps an issue they can easily address if they have the will yeah. um, and ability um, to do so. But how does 
the local sphere of government address issues of poverty. I mean, it's not something that's really within their competence, strictly speaking. Look, I, I, I understand that uh, uh, we still have to go a long way for South Africa to understand that local government is where it has to matter most, because that is the government close to the people. And uh, it is where, when people talk about service delivery, they talk about issues that affect them in the township, in the rural areas, in the village. And uh, uh, at the moment, everybody is still looking up. But look, houses are built at a local level. Water has got to be supplied by the municipality at a local level. The schools, the, the library, and all this infrastructure built talks to the person on the ground. And I think we need to be refocusing even our budgeting allocation or budget allocation to focus on that layer of government because it is very, very important. Is there an appreciation of that reality uh, by your comrades in the governing party? Though? that the local sphere of government is where the focus should be and perhaps less so um, where it is now at provincial and national level. I think there's a challenge there, but I also believe that society has got to get that into their minds and, and, and really demonstrate that. Because it's not about only uh, the protest that we, we, we engage in on a day-to-day -day basis, but it is also about us as communities participating in that government to ensuring that indeed that's a government it's not just that councillor who is the government that government that councillor sits in the municipality and is part of the decision making what do we give that council on a day to day basis on this monthly meeting that must happen and getting reports as communities we must check up our act as workers we must check up our act on the ground for accountability to happen. Have you taken part in any of the you know, mobilizing of people to come here or even um, to go and vote uh, for your ally, the ANC? Most definitely. Remember, we came, we're coming from our 12th National Congress last year in November, which gave a clear cl clarion call that COSATU supports the African National Congress in these local government elections. And as that was happening, we've been on our roadshows, every meeting we're making this point that uh, it is our duty. But we are saying to the ANC, help us also to help you to win these elections. Deal with those issues of internal disunity in the organization. The leadership must take charge of the organization, go to those areas that have problems, fix those internal problems. because. If you don't do so, the confidence continues to be depleted of the ANC. Sending out different messages out there about an organization that is at war with itself doesn't assist. So COSATU is down on the ground. We are clear, but we know that uh, when we're saying we're voting for the ANC, it's not just uh, uh, we're doing it no matter what. There are specific issues that we expect them to deliver on in as far as workers are concerned. I've just enumerated those issues. But we have a situation where everybody who wants the NNC out, I don't hear them saying anything about workers in South Africa. For the past three years, they've been focused simply on one issue. Nothing, nothing about the workers in the country. Which is the one, which, which one issue is it? issues of the national minimum wage. I've not had one single opposition party say a thing about that except to oppose it. The DA in particular, issues about the labor brokers. I've never had anybody saying they want them to be banned. The DA says they want the system to continue. I've never had them fighting the taxation law amendment issue. They, they are saying actually what is the status quo must continue and we don't uh, uh, see them supporting us as the workers. Thank you very much, Mr. Modlamini, the president uh, of COSATU here, of course, to support their ally, the African National Congress, as uh, it uh, launches its uh, election manifesto for local government elections uh, that are going to take place on the 3rd of August.
throughout uh, our country. Well, these conversations uh, continue, uh, but for now, I'm going to hand back uh, to Alicia in the studio in Johannesburg. Thank you so much, uh, Vuyom Voko, our contributing editor. He was joined by Kosatu President Dumud Lamini, who really reiterated that, uh, you know, they want to outline um, worker issues like uh, the minimum wage and uh, worker taxation, as well as outsourcing uh, some of the challenges that they'd like the president to address in his official address later on today. Let's now head back to our top story and breaking news where councillors at Nkandla